know they say all exposure is good exposure when you create the exposure. Over two years ago, my team told me that I should start vlogging. I thought it was the dumbest, stupidest, lamest idea ever. I wanna show you what vlogging has done to my business over the last two years. Let's get deep, let's get dirty. And before we get into it, I want you to do me a favor, hit that like button right there. Hit it, smash it if you love me. Subscribe if you haven't. We're almost at a million subs. Thank you so much. This vlog is gonna get a little bit dirty. Welcome to a new one, 113. Oh, wow, that's a lot of vlogs. Wow, the amount of time I've spent making this damn thing. When I think back to my first vlog, actually. Oh man. Still cold. I wanted to start a vlog. Right? Over 200,000 people watched that first video and I was like, wow oh, maybe we're onto something. And then the press started coming out. And if I think I remember correctly, the press was something like, because we don't see him enough, Sir Hant launches a weekly vlog. And all I wanted to do with that first vlog was just connect you guys in, in a different way. And for my business, which is what this is all about, how do I reach the buyers of tomorrow? You know, when I think back to the vlogs that really made a difference for me, obviously that first one, and then everything else after that for a bit was really just, you know, my life, working out, my wife, kind of our life a little bit. And then, and then there was one where I sold a $9 million penthouse over FaceTime. You got beautiful stone. This is the only guy who you say, can I give you 9 million? And he looks sad. And we realized that we were onto something. Apparently people really like seeing me sell properties in really, really crazy ways, which to everybody else is crazy, but to us is just a regular day. What if we do more on YouTube? What if we don't just show how we sell? What if we also show the crazy properties that we're selling as well? Let's do property tours. $280 million. So did you renovate this spot here? Like we sold around $2 million, 35 million. Now welcome to LA. Well, not right now. Right now we're on Crosby Street in the middle of pandemic New York City. And we've got a property on the market for $188 million. And I say, you know what? Let's go do a property tour there. Boom. 15 million views later. Now we're on to something even more. Whereas YouTube was really just a way to connect with a younger fan base who would one day be the buyers of tomorrow, who would want to work with me. All of a sudden, now we're getting calls from Saudi Arabia, from China from Hong Kong, from Russia, from South America, from South Africa, seeing our properties on YouTube, wanting to actually see them in person and buy them because they didn't even know these properties were on the market in the first place. Also, don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Really, really important. And all of a sudden, before I know it, we're on our way to Colorado to do a property tour for a ranch that's on the market for $280 million. This is more than just a property tour. This is literally a piece of United States of America. $55 million. It's crazy. I mean, look at this. Next thing I know, I'm taking a chopper out to the Hamptons where I'm selling a $40 million mansion on the ocean, again, over FaceTime because that's what people love to do. Because a guy reached out to me and said, listen, I wanna go buy an oceanfront home in the Hamptons. I want you to be my broker. I don't have time to go and see it. You go out there, you call me, you FaceTime me the same way you did in that vlog. True story. We got a call from a woman in Texas, from an amazing broker says, hey, come down and speak to my brokers. Also, I've got this insane house with a $7 million closet. Like this is clearly Texas. And I knew things were getting serious when we got a call from somebody who said that they had a client whose daughter had a friend who saw our property tour of a townhouse we had on the market in Chelsea for $15 million. The broker brought the client, they came through and they bought it for $13 million because of YouTube. We just sold a house for $10 million right over there on Mulberry from a video that we just did a couple months ago where we put it up for 11 million on Wednesday at 8 p.m. when you're watching this right now. Buyer saw it the next day, told his broker they came through Friday morning, they saw it, boom, had an accepted offer by the end of the day, they closed for $10 million later because of YouTube and because of exposure. And then all of you have been sending me emails, DMs, everything saying, Ryan, you talk about crazy stuff all the time, you sell all these things. 
how do you think about business? How do you think about life? We love all the real estate stuff, but we wanna see also what you know about business. How did you grow up into this business? How do you structure your day? What do you do? And I said, okay, let's make three different types of vlogs. We're gonna do property tours. We're gonna do kind of the day in the life and how to videos. And then let's also do motivational, inspirational videos because I do that stuff for my team all the time. I'll do it for all of you. And then we made a vlog called The Blueprint for a Positive Mindset. And you know why people are negative? You know why people are grumpy? You know why people have a bad attitude? Honestly, because it's easier to be upset than it is to be happy. Being happy takes a choice not to look out of the easy window that's dark and stormy right here, but actually moving over and saying, you know what, I'm gonna go over there and look out that window because that's my choice and that's a better view for me. That's why, because you're lazy. I mean, that kind of stuff I talk about all the time. And then you kept sending me more emails and more emails. And then we did the thousand minute rule, remember that? There are 24 hours in every day, 60 minutes in an hour. That means you've got 1,440 minutes every single day that you're alive to make shit happen. So now let's talk about tactically how we did this and how you can do it too. Because if vlogging worked for me, it can work for your business as well. But there are three things that you need to focus on. First, above all else, is consistency. YouTube rewards and appreciates consistency. So we made a decision early on. We said we're gonna post once a week at the same exact time, no matter what. We're gonna print it, no matter what. And it's Wednesday, 8 p.m., no matter what. Consistency is key. People need to know what to expect from you, both in work, in business, in life, and especially on YouTube, all right? The second thing that you need to pay attention to, as best you possibly can, is collabs. And we've done some big collabs, from Gary V to Casey to Logan to Josh Peck to Sarah Dietschy. Like, we've done a lot, and we pushed for them as much as we possibly can because you wanna share your fan base. So if you know somebody who even has a tiny following in your neighborhood, Go and do something with them. Even if they have 100 people on a channel, go and do something with them. Even if they're not on YouTube, but they have an Instagram following, go and do a collab with them. Get them because they're the pro gardener that everyone cares about in your town to come and see your property that you have on the market. You're gonna make a little video about it and the trade is gonna be that you're gonna send a clip of that video and you want them to post it on their Instagram. Or you're gonna pull a favor for them because you're good with a camera. I don't know, right? But consistency and collabs. And then the third most important thing is you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. You actually gotta pick up your camera and do it. Just start. You could totally make it on your own. Like, I have an iPhone, right? You probably have an iPhone. You're probably watching this on an iPhone right now, or your Google phone or Android box, whatever the hell it is, you know? You could do it right now. Look, I'm making, I'm vlogging right now. Here's me vlogging, ready? What's up, Sir fans? It's me, Ryan Sir Hans, coming at you live from the office. Not supposed to be here. So it's consistency, it's collabs, and it's just doing it. Picking up your phone, creating interesting content, content that people might find humorous or not, even if you just like talking. We live in a new world now, more than ever before. Everybody right now is on their phones. They're at home and they're watching content of some kind. They might be streaming it through Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Apple, Disney, so on and so forth, or they're right here on YouTube with you and me. And this is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and going forward. And if you're a salesperson and you're not here and you're not getting this exposure to open your personality up with your stories, then you're missing a huge market share to build business. Because if there's one thing that I can attribute my business to in the last two years, it's YouTube. And at the end of the day, sales is storytelling. You don't need any fancy equipment. You can literally do it with your phone. Put your personality out there. Create content, tell stories, be consistent, get help from other people around you, and you will grow your brand. So do me a favor, like it. Smash that like button right now. Like this now, subscribe if you haven't, send this to everybody you know, and if you're thinking about creating your own content, I'm telling you right now, you can do it. It's literally as easy as taking a hypervolt to the face. Oh! Ah, oh, <laughs> end of vlog.
Oh, in the blood. So, uh, uh, we're gonna do something big tomorrow. Real big, huge, even. Uh, it's gonna involve uh, something, something small, something, something little, something like, like this, like an egg, and you know, millions of dollars. Uh, so, so stay tuned tomorrow. Thanks for watching the vlog, and get ready for some, some fun.